Today we're answering the question, can a 2000 watt Predator generator from Harbor Freight run your air conditioner? Well today I'm going to show you two ways that it can. We are Beckett, Rosamie, Anna, and Jonathan, along with our two dogs, Yoshi and Arnis. And we're selling all of our stuff to go full-time RV. You're not selling our home. Okay then, then uh, we like to travel. Sometimes we do it by RV and you can watch it on my channel. It's my channel, Dad. Welcome to Tree Talker the Traveler. It's hot out here today and we need our air conditioning. So I'm going to show you the first way you can run your air conditioning on a 2000 watt generator. Well, the first way is a bit of a cheat because I'm not really using just one generator. I'm using two and I'm using this device so that I can have the power of both generators. There is a way to just use one, but that's later in the video. So you may be asking yourself, why would I buy two 2000 Predator generators when I can get the one 3500 generator and that's a great question and that generator may suit you better but there are some advantages with the 2000 and we'll cover those in this video if you want to know more about the 3500 go watch this video made one of the advantages of the 2000 is it's a lot smaller you might not be able to manhandle or carry that 3500 but you can probably make two trips with the 2000s quite easily it's significantly lighter the other advantage, if it's winter or you're not going to need your air conditioning, you can just go ahead and just bring the one generator to run things other than your air conditioner. So it's more flexible between seasons or where you're going to go camping. Another advantage of this particular generator is it costs about half as much of its equivalent with Honda. Now the Honda generator is a little quieter, but I can't perceive the difference. Another good thing about these prayer generators is they start in one pool just started these one pull each generator started right up they're also very quiet you can hear them when you're outside but i got both of them running right on the other side of this camper while i'm filming this so right now you can hear my air conditioning sorry about that but it was hot outside and i wanted to cool down i also wanted you to get a sense of what does it sound like inside with the ac running when you're running off one generator and that's what we're doing right now and i can't hear that generator and it's right here now, how am I running the AC off one generator? Well, I installed what's called an easy start on the air conditioner, which takes some of that initial load off when the air conditioner is cycling on and off, which means that my requirements in the generator are far less. So that's one way I do it. But I actually have an additional way we can do it. And that is I have an inverter that if it senses my Victron that there's not enough power coming in, it can supplement it with the battery. Now, you don't need that. You can get by with just the easy start in the generator. But if you do that, you're probably not going to be able to also run the microwave or a kettle or anything at the same time. Just flip the air conditioning off, run those devices, and flip it back on. I think back in August, we ran an inverter test to see how long we could go on four Battleborn batteries running our air conditioning on a really hot day. Since then, we've made some massive improvements. We've learned a lot, and we've gotten a lot more out of our batteries running everything. So we're going to make another video today that we'll be publishing soon where we test it again, like a real life condition. We'll go over in that video the uniqueness of us having a two battery bank system, what the pros of that are, why it lets us get more out of our batteries, and also what the cons of that are. Anyway, go ahead and like and subscribe if you want to see that video, and definitely comment below and let me know if you like these type of videos. 